today on the TMZ Podcast. Hello and welcome to the TMZ Podcast. I'm your host, Branson Quirk, filling in for Charlie Cotton today. And I've got the lovely Trent Clark here. TMZ uh, he, Hip Hop in full effect. Yes, yes. We, we brought him in here today because we've got a couple stories here. Uh, he, he, he was behind writing those and uh, we want to get his input. We've got a few stories uh, today we're going to dive into. We are going to talk about uh, 50 Cent is being sued. Uh, if you remember back in August, he had thrown a microphone out in the audience, hit a woman in the face, cracked her, her skull, her face, concussion she got hurt and uh well she is now gonna be going after him for some uh you know compensation we're gonna talk about justin timberlake's new track which just dropped this morning there's a lot of uh talk about it on twitter because the 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 title is uh similar to a, another artist title uh we're also going to talk about Alyssa milano a actress who had posted a gofundme about her son's baseball team and the uh the controversy we'll, we'll talk about it but uh to start Nicki minaj uh I mean, I feel like she's always in some type of beef with somebody online. She's very spicy. But uh, no, she's with uh, in beef with Megan Thee Stallion right now. What had happened was uh, uh, Megan Thee Stallion had posted a new song or released a new song called Hiss. Yep. And in this track, there is a lyric that folks are saying is a diss track against Nicki Minaj. Do you want to tell me a little bit more about that? Yeah, absolutely. Um, <clears throat> so, I mean, Nicki and... And Megan, they've been embroiled in this Cold War for a long time. So Nikki feels like she's fed up. And, you know, she's sent some shots that, you know, Nikki's jealous. And, you know, she's not worried about Megan, but she's worried about Megan's Law, which is a direct shot at, you know, sex offenders, which Nicki Minaj happens to be married to. Her. I see. Actually, let's play that, uh, that, that line right, right now. These hoes don't be mad at Megan. These hoes mad at Megan's Law. I don't really know what the problem is, but I guarantee y'all won't meet story. Okay. Yeah. It goes pretty hard, actually. I, I like it. I, I, mean, like she, it. I mean, she went hard, <laughs> but uh, I mean, the streets might be saying Nikki went harder. Nikki went went on a social media expose, you know, liking, you know, nasty tweets, mm -hmm. you know, sending sub subliminal. She even hopped on Instagram right. Live and, you know, made fun of Megan's flow, and that went viral. Well, like, first, I mean, it's important to know what she had said in that lyric. Um, I have it right here. Uh, so she says, I, I finna get this shit off my chest and lay it to rest. Let's go. These hoes don't be mad at Megan. These hoes mad at Megan's law. I don't really know what the problem is, but I guarantee y'all don't want me to start. I did that. that now, was... I, I think there's an actual <laughs> podcast marketing white guys reading rap lyrics. <laughs> hey, hey. Who's better, me or, me or Charlie on the on those on those lines? I mean, there there there's levels to it, you know. Well, so what's important to know in that lyric is that uh, she mentioned Megan's Law. So she, the whole thing about Megan's Law is that uh, Nicki Minaj's uh, husband Kenneth Petty he became a registered sex offender following a 1995 conviction mm -hmm. for uh, a first degree attempted rape of a 16 year old girl. So uh, Megan's Law is a federal a statute that requires law enforcement authorities to uh, basically register sex offenders, public information and post it. Yeah, so when obviously... you're a rapper and your name is Megan, you know, that's a cool name flip. You know, you can play with it lyrically, but you know, in this right. case, it's a, it's a shot at her enemy. All right, so like you said, Nicki Minaj immediately hopped on Instagram Live and she w did not hold back. Let's actually listen to that line from that Instagram Live and it kind of went with down. Hey, um... Hey, uh, bad bitch, you like six foot. I call it big foot. The bitch fell off. I said, get up on your good foot. <laughs> you will be running on your good foot for the rest of your sorry days. <laughs> you gonna have to skip. Okay, well, obviously, <laughs> she was referencing what had happened with Meg Thee Stallion and Tory Lanez really going after the, in the, the foot thing. Mm hmm Yeah, uh, brutal, you know, um... She even made Bigfoot trend. You know, I woke up this morning and saw Bigfoot trending. I thought it was one of those another you know, UFO yeah. sighting stories. No, it's Nicki Minaj making fun of Megan. Yeah, I, I, like, I mean, in the, in the line, it says it right there. Bad bitch, she like six foot. I call her Bigfoot. The bitch fell off. I said, get up on your good foot. So uh, it, for me, the most, the most incriminating part is that someone tweeted Nicki in response to this and said, post your feet. And then Nikki literally just posts a picture of her feet. Um, she quoted the tweet right above it. You can see a photo of her feet right there. And it's really funny because- I give him a nine too. 
out of ten. Oh, oh, oh and not, are you are you a feet guy? I mean, it's it's a body part, so you know it's it's rateable. Oh, I don't but, get why no. people like feet. I don't know. I'm not really into that. <clears throat> actually, I actually know why. It's the oh. fir- it's the first uh, part of the body that's usually being able to show and revealing. So, oh, you know, like a lot of people develop an appreciation for it yeah. because it's the first. Got gotcha. you. Usually the revealing yeah. part. It's kind of like body. ankles and shoulders and stuff. Exactly. Like the 50s when they, I don't Boom. know. Never mind. Let's not get that. Yep. Um, <laughs> <laughs> but then Nikki. I went in uh, even further and started mocking her even more. Let's listen to that. Ooh, ooh, I said, ooh, ooh, I hit, hit, I hit, ooh, ooh, I hit, I hit, I said, this rap like a bomb, be a shit, beat, beat, I rap like a bomb, be a pimp, so he said, what, 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 what? <laughs> so is that how Meg The Stallion sounds? Do you think? I mean, she's she's uh she's digging into her being a country girl. You know, she's saying she sounds like a generic UGK Pimp C Got Bun you. B. It's I mean, it's a pretty good diss. I mean, Megan, you know, like for all intents purposes, Megan opened these doors for Nicki to go this hard. So what you see not right now is old fashioned rap yeah. beef. Just happens to be women, and they worked together. The last song I saw was uh, "Hot Girl Summer." Yeah, it was a, it was a big hit um, yeah. during the pandemic, but um, ever since then, you know, it's been a cold war. Got you. I guess things just uh, went down, and I, I, I can you see them working together again? Well, I mean, Nick, Nicki Nicki Minaj is the center at the center of all these beefs because she's the queen and she wants to stay the queen, and yeah. anyone who disrupts that she's they're a peasant and they got to go so, don't mess with her no. at, so to answer your question hell no got you moving on to our next story uh 50 cent is being sued by the woman that uh video had went viral back in august uh 50 cent he was on stage uh something malfunctioned with the microphone during uh his show at the crypto.com arena and well <laughs> He got upset about it, and he threw the microphone out to the crowd. And I'm telling you, the microphone just cracked right at this woman's face. She uh, went to the hospital for a concussion. She had marks all over her face. There's photos we put in the story. It looks pretty brutal. I mean, it must have hit her very, very hard. Yeah, we actually uh, broke the video and the exclusive pictures of her injuries. And the woman just, she turned out to be a Power 106 host, uh, Brianna. Um, you know, she hosts on the afternoon, so she was ha- happened to be in that VIP artist area, and that's where the frustration flung her way. And yeah, concussion. Uh, she's saying permanent in- injuries, and that's what the lawsuit. Uh... Permanent injuries. That it's interesting because I, I was in a similar accident where, um, you know, you go after that that claim in the lawsuit is a car accident and you say you have permanent injuries and you can really claim so many things in those lawsuits. You can say that, you, you know, you got the emotional distress, which she's obviously claiming she's talking lost wages as well. Lost wages, especially because she was probably, you know, recovering for a bit. Additional medical expenses and other damages. Uh, 50, we know back then he had previously denied any intention of harming anyone. And, uh, he has not responded to the lawsuit at this time. Yeah, I mean, it, it looks fairly cut and dry. You know, he was frustrated. The microphone went out. He threw it. You know, he was trying to give a great show. Happened to hit her. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, he's. I, I don't think anyone is saying that he's not liable. So I assume this will be, uh, yeah. you know, settled and closed pretty fairly. It, it'll be probably settled out of court most yeah. of the time those things happen. Facts. All right, well, moving on to our next uh, story, Justin Timberlake. We, people have been waiting uh, this new album, have new they? songs. I, yeah, I think so. There's a lot of there's a lot of Timberlake fans out there. But okay, so he he dropped a new single this morning, and the main thing is that it's 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 called Selfish. That's the title of the song. Let, let's listen to it. So if I get jealous, I can't help it. I want every bit of you. I guess I'm selfish. You like it? <laughs> I mean, it, it's kind of dated, um, you know, like, I'm a Justin Timberlake fan, uh, you know, I have a hot take, I think the 2020 experience is his best album, and I know Future Sex, Sexy right. Love Sounds is his magnum opus, but I said all that to say, you know, he's a married man, happily, uh, you know, father, golfer, you know, so to be singing about being selfish and wanting someone's love, you know, it sounds a little generic to me. 
Well, folks online are going crazy over this because the title Selfish is the same title as Britney Spears. Uh, she also had a song named Selfish. It was a bonus track from her 2011 album. And uh, no, this is really important. I mean, obviously he did this on purpose. Like he could, like so much goes into naming the songs, producing it. And like, what is he doing? Um, let's see how far I can reach. <laughs> Because, yeah, that's 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 the, one of the biggest stretches I've heard in 2024 just started. But, um, you know, you can search on your Apple or Spotify. You know, there's a bunch of tracks named Selfish and a bonus uh, obscure Britney Spears bonus track does not come to mind unless you're a Britney Spears stan. Well, Justin Timberlake, I mean, this all comes on the heels as well of of that memoir coming out and all of those allegations and all of those all of those all those headlines that we saw. And this is really, really close to when all that came out. And, mm -hmm. people... and remember those allegations. Genuine denied, uh, you know, one of the biggest stories that involved Justin Timberlake about him wigging out in front of her. So, yeah. uh, you know, he hasn't responded to it. You know, I think it's I think any connotations to Britney Spears is capped. Do you think Britney will listen to the song? Oh, absolutely. I think I, so? I'm pretty sure she'll memorize it and uh, dance dance topless to it on the beat. <laughs> you think so? Yeah. I think I think we're gonna see an Instagram post soon of of uh, you know a, probably a big paragraph just going into the whole thing. I really I really do think that'll happen like in the next two days or so, maybe I, even today. It's gonna help his sales. Yeah, that's true. I mean, it's it's on the iTunes charts already. It's already trending. It's already topped the U.S. charts. Uh, and I think it, I think it'll be up there for a bit until uh, the rest of the album. Uh, since his hiatus, it's been a, a lot to be desired in that you know male pop superstar space. So you know it is a welcome return, but you know he has. I think he has to come with it with it. I mean, I, li I like the song. I think it's great. But to me, it just sounds like elevator music. Boom. It, it's not. I know that's a hot take, but it, it it's vibey. I'll play it in the car while I drive. But I mean, going back to that 2020 experience album does not compare. No, not at all. Not at, not at all. all. I got tunnel vision. Tunnel vision. All right, right on, right on. All right, well, moving on to our final story. Actress Alyssa Milano is being dragged online right now, and it's all because she shared a link to a GoFundMe trying to raise money for her son's baseball team to go on a trip of sorts. So, uh, yeah, so she posted this this link of this GoFundMe, and the main reason people are upset is the very obvious one. She is pretty loaded. She, she's she been in a lot of things. Uh, she has a pretty e extensive career. Her net worth that stands, at least right now, reportedly is $10 million. Oh. She's got money, okay? And P, what do you think? Do you think that this is like out, out, out of the wheelhouse on this? Like, what do you think? So did she start the GoFundMe? Like No, no, she did not. She just simply shared a link to the GoFundMe. And they're trying to raise $10,000 for this team to go. So it's not just for her son. It's for the team. I, I think what this, this is is that uh, it's for the team. It's not just for her son. So she can't always do, you know, she can't just pay for it at all every single time. I mean, optics is everything. You know, in, in this particular instance, I think if you're a celebrity or someone who's loaded, uh, you know, attaching yourself to a go, GoFundMe, you know, that's that's going to just look bad in the public eye. You know, I, I, I'm right. pretty sure she didn't mean any harm. But at the same time, you know, if you really think your son is headed to the MLB, you know, you put up the money. And right. It's like, like, how serious is it? You know, is it right. like, is, is he going to the league or is it just for, yeah. well, it's you know, 10 summer grand. camp? Yeah. 10 grand. That's expensive. That's for very sure. expensive. You know, like. But my thing is, is if you were rich, would you pay for for your daughter son's team to go on a field trip every single time? Absolutely. I mean, I, I want I would want her to be on the winning side. So I'm going to put my money. I'm going to invest my money for this team to be yeah. where they need to be to win. Do you do you do you think Alyssa Milano is a big, big actress? Do you like did you know her before? Once upon a time. Yeah. yeah in, in the 90s, she was. She was. uh you know, on, on the cover of all the magazines you see by the mm -hmm. in the groceries, by the gum and candy. Yeah. I mean, for me, if I was rich and famous, I would absolutely do the same thing that she's doing. I would not pay because think about it like this. They have several field trips a year. <laughs> OK, OK, several field trips a year. And and why? Like if I pay for one and then the next one rolls around, they're like, oh, we're going to go to Washington, D.C. We're going to go overseas for something. We're going far. And it's a fifty thousand dollar trip. Then I gotta front the money again. If I don't front the money, people people at the school are gonna go, "Oh man, that well, Branson, he, he's not paying." Well, the 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 beauty, the benefit of that is your son or daughter is going to get older, so you're not always going to have to fund 
that area of their lives, you know. That's so true. once once they grow to be a teenager, you don't have to worry about the yeah. Girl Scouts and Boy Scouts. One thing too is that people were mad about is that she's not on the official list of donors on the GoFundMe. Uh-huh. You know, you can see the donor list. Uh, there are anonymous on there, which could be her, but they were like small amounts or so. Well, she had the kids. That's I mean, I think yeah. that's her contribution. You know, these are my kids, so why should mm-hmm. I have to? I just think this whole thing is is stupid. I I don't know. I think this is such a reach. I think that people are looking in the wrong places for this kind of thing. Like, who who saw that and decided to make this a big story? Like, I just think that it's... Uh, it's, Alyssa Milano hater. Yeah, right. Or the trip was 20 grand and she put up 10. And now she's raising the rest of the ten. That's a l- that's a lot for kids that are not going uh, to major league. I know. I think it, we'll, we'll have to find out where they're going because they, travel expenses are expensive. You know, like they, these these little bums better better turn out to be something. <laughs> right. Well, uh, thanks for joining me today. Uh, this again, this is my first time hosting, and uh, it was really exciting. Thanks for coming on with me. What do you got going on this weekend? Um, the Grammys are coming up, so right. You know, I'm I'm. You know, positioning myself to be where, you know, all the hip hop madness is. So. I actually applied to be a seat filler for the Grammys. And I'm right now on the short list. I'm like in like a group of a thousand now. So. Do, they, do they know you're associated with TMZ? You know, they know you're down with the click. So I don't, I didn't, I didn't put that in there because. Smart. The, I mean, I'm sitting next to celebrities and I'm hearing their conversations, hearing their, you know, personal vendettas. And I feel like that could be a conflict of interest, right? So I don't tell them because of that reason. Yeah. I don't know. It sounds fun, though. But no, it should be fun. All right, cool. Well, thanks for coming on, man. Hope you have a good weekend. Oh, and good. Uh, we'll Bye talk guys. to you guys soon. Charlie, we'll be back on Monday, by the way, and uh, talking some more stories. Have a good one, guys.